Let's take a look at some examples that use these quarks. First it says, find the probability of exactly one marble. Exactly one yellow marble. Well, exactly one yellow is here. Exactly one yellow is here. And it looks like those probabilities, 3 sixteenths and 3 sixteenths. So it looks like the probability of getting exactly one yellow is 6 out of 16. Now, the probability of getting at least one green marble, well, that's one or more. Well, let's see, where do we get one or more? We get one or more here, one or more here, and one or more here. That's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 out of 16 times we will get at least one green marble. So the probability is 15 out of 16. I simply added the probabilities of those green events. Please take a moment, pause here to find the probability that both marbles are the same color or and the probability that the first marble is yellow. And then we'll take a look and see how you did. The probability that both marbles are the same color is 10 out of 16, or if you want to write it as a decimal, 0.625. The probability that the first marble is yellow is 4 out of 16, or 0.25. Let's take a look at the example on the next page. Here we have a bag containing $5 bills and $1 bills. There's four fives and six ones. And it says that two bills are pulled from the bag with replacement. When it says two bills are pulled from the bag with replacement, it means one is pulled out, put back, and then the second one is pulled out. Let's take a moment now to construct the tree diagram. There's two possible things that could happen the first time. We could get a $5 bill, or we could get a $1 bill. And remember, I want to include the probabilities. There's 10 bills out together. 6 out of 10 is the probability of, I'm sorry, not 6 out of 10, 4 out of 10 is the probability of getting a five because there's four five dollar bills and six out of ten is the probability of getting a one dollar bill because there are six of them now we put it back in the second time through we could get either our five or our one we could get a five we could get a one we could get a five we could get a 1. And once again, we'll include the probabilities with that. 6 out of 10 for our 1s, and 4 out of 10 for our 5s. Now, let's go ahead and create our sample space. Here's what we could get. We could have gotten a $5 bill and a $5 bill. Probability for that was 4 out of 10 times 4 out of 10. Or 16 out of 100. We could have gotten a $5 bill followed by a $1 bill. Probabilities for that well, the $5 bill is 4 out of 10. $6 bill is 6 out of 10. It looks like the probability of a 5 and then a 1 is 24 out of 100. Third possibility, we could have gotten a 1 and then a 5. And we calculate those probabilities of a 1 then a 5. That's 6 out of 10 times 4 out of 10. That ends up to be 24 out of 100. 24% chance of getting a $1 bill than a $5 bill. And finally, we could have gotten two $1 bills, a 1 and then a 1. And we calculate our probability there, 6 tenths for the first one, 
six tenths for the second one, 36 out of 100, or 36% chance that I get a $1 bill followed by a $1 bill. Now, let's go ahead and calculate our probabilities. It's, they want the probability that the total amount of money is $6. Well, let's see where that happens. $6 here, $6 here. 24 out of 100, 24 out of 100. That looks to me like a 48 out of 100 chance of getting $6. So we have 48 out of 100. Question 2 says at least $4, $4 or more. Let's see where that happens in our sample space. $4 or more, well, this is $10, so that's good. A 5 and a 1, that's $6, that's good. A 5 and a 1, that's $6. It looks like everywhere except for a 1 and a 1. And so if I add those up, 16, 24, and 24, that gives me a total of 64 out of 100. Finally, they want to know the probability that you get the, t the greatest possible amount. Well, the greatest possible amount is if you draw two $5 bills. And the probability of getting two $5 bills is 16 out of 100. Example 7 and 8 involve decks of cards and some additional problems involving pulling candies out of a, out of a jar. I'd like for you to take a moment to try example 7 and example 8, and we'll show the answers in just the moments so that you can check your work. Please pause here. Try example 7. All right, we have the probability of two clubs. So the probability of getting a club the first time is 13 out of 52. Probability of getting a club the second time, 13 out of 52. When we multiply those using the counting principle, the likelihood that we get a club and then another club is 169 out of 2704, roughly about six and a quarter percent. The probability that both cards are fours, in other words, we get a four and a four. Well, the probability of the first four is four out of 52. Second, four, four out of 52. Probability using the counting principle 16 out of 2704, which is about a half a percent, maybe six tenths of a percent. So not very likely that you reach into the deck and you pull out two fours. C, let's see what C says here. C says the probability that both cards are black. Well, the first one, 26 out of 52. That's the first time, the probability of getting a black card. We put the card back in. We pull out a second card. Probability of the second card is 26 out of 52. And so we use the counting principle, and that gives us 676 out of 2704 which is about 25% or one-fourth. So you have a 25% chance that two cards will be black. Both are red sevens. That means it would have to be a seven of hearts or seven of diamonds. Two out of 52. Two out of 52 for the second one. Gives us probability of four out of 2704. Again, very unlikely. It's less than less than um, one percent. The probability that both cards are face cards. Well, there's twelve face cards. That's twelve out of fifty-two. Probability of getting one of those. You put it back in. Probability of getting a face card on the second trial. Twelve out of fifty-two. Counting principle says that's going to be one forty-four out of 2,704. So about 5% chance of getting face cards both times. 
finally, the probability that both are black face cards. Well, there are three face cards in each suite. There's two black suites. That means there's six black face cards. So we have six out of 52 for the first trial, six out of 52 for the second draw, 36 out of 2,704 is the probability of getting both black face cards. Let's take a quick look at example eight and then we'll be done for the day. Let's take a look at what they have going on here. A bag of Starburst candy has four red, three pink, and two yellow. Two candies are drawn with replacement. Find the following probabilities. So first, let's construct the tree diagram for that example. Please pause here and construct that tree diagram. Here we go. Here's our tree diagram in our sample space showing the probability of getting the combinations of candies, a red and a red, a red and a pink, a red and a yellow, a pink then a red, a pink then a pink, and a pink then a yellow, and finally a yellow then a red, a yellow then a pink, and a yellow then a yellow. The first question asks us to find the probability of one pink and one red. Well, let's see. One pink and one red, that happens with RP and with PR. So we have 12 out of 81 and 12 out of 81. That gives us a probability of 24 out of 81. Next question asks us to find the probability of getting two yellow. Two yellow happens only in one place where we had YY, yellow, yellow. The probability of that was 4 out of 81. And next up, they ask us to find the probability of two orange. Well, since there are no orange candies, it's impossible. The probability of getting two orange candies is 0 out of 81. Finally, they ask us the probability of both candies being starbursts. Well, both candies being starburst, since they're all starburst, there's a 100% chance it's certain that both candies will be starburst. So the probability is 1. Last question they ask us is the probability that the first candy is red. Well, that happens in a couple of places. We had RR, RP, RY. And those are the only three places where the first candy drawn was red. So we have probability 16 out of 81, 12 out of 81, and 8 out of 81. That gives us a grand total of 36 out of 81, or about a 40% chance that the first candy is yellow. Ladies and gentlemen, that is probability with replacement. I hope that you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time.